And the other thing we have in insert is a file. I go to load file, it opens up my desktop, grab the picture I want, and I can let the spin wheel go around until it loads the picture. And I have this picture of the school in here. This is also editable, so I just select the center. I'm going to make it a smaller size, right about there. I'm going to rotate it like this. I'm going to move it way over here. We'll put it like that. If I click on the plus here, there's a couple things I can do. If I had several other pictures, this bring forward or send backward is going to allow me to layer pictures on top of each other. I can duplicate the picture and just put another one over here. And on my other option menu, I have to delete the picture. Another way to do that would just be select the wheel and press delete. A fast way to zoom in and out, especially on a trackpad, is I'm just holding two fingers down to zoom out, two fingers in to zoom in, and you notice over here I have a plus and a minus as well for zoom in and out. This little house icon is kind of going to bring me back to home base to see everything in one shot. One thing that you want to realize about Pressy is that it likes to visually show information based on its based on the size. So the more important thing that you want to give in your presentation should actually appear larger in your Pressy. So let's say my thesis or the main idea behind my behind my presentation was that you can type. I would want to make this the biggest part of my presentation. Maybe a detail is, but also my formatting will too. Let's take this sentence and make it kind of small. I'm going to rotate it right vertically. Let's zoom in a little bit. And move it to the side. And let's make my name is Andrea a little smaller too. It's not essential, but it is one of the basic principles of Pressy that, you know, more important information should be larger. Details, side notes should be smaller. Because the last thing you're going to do before you present your Pressy is make a path. This is how we make our information into a, a visual movie. Um, we're going to lead our viewer to the different points that we want to tell them. This would be similar in a PowerPoint or, or a keynote to advancing the slides, but it's more visually appealing to do it in Presti. It looks more interesting and you're going to see that it starts looking like you're creating an uh, animation. So we're going to go to Path and you're going to see that it says add one, two, and three, this yellow circle up here. It's as easy as this. I'm going to look at all the information that I have on my Pressy, everything that I've combined. You might have several dates and names and events and facts and pictures. You are now going to order with everything that you have what order you want your viewer to see your information. For example, I want the first thing my viewer to see is this you can type. So I'm going to click on you can type and it has a blue dot on it. The next thing I want them to know is my name. So I click there and it draws this line as to where I'm going to direct them next. I'm going to direct them next to this arrow. Then I work at Colegio Inglis and then I want it to jump all the way over to the picture of the school over here. Let's go to the arrow. then this detail, then Pressy, then I am writing, then this one, and we'll end with a picture of the school. Now, it looks like a very confusing web right now, but let's preview what we have. I'm going to go back to my cloud cluster over here, and this one says show, and I'm going to go to full screen, and as I click, this is what my presentation ends up looking like. 
following how I directed it over to the picture to the arrow so let's say I'm happy with the final result and I'm ready to share it if I'm back on this window this is kind of you know I'm outside of editing this is just an overview of my video called demonstration right down here there's a there's a few ways to uh, to share it one is to embed it for example if I have a website or a blog I could take all of this code copy and paste and embed it into a site I can share it on Facebook Twitter email or I can just get the link to post on Schoology or wiki or my teacher site copy and paste this link and it will be viewed by someone else you want to pay attention to the options down here that you have selected for your Pressy. Be careful with this first one. If you make it public and allow to copy, just as it says, let others make a copy of the Pressy so they can use it for themselves. You might want to think about if you want that or not. Public is it's visible, but no one else can use it. And private is you are the only one who can view it. And those who you invite, of course, can view it. So those are the basics with Pressy. Um, there's three tabs. You have your Pressies, things that you're working on. Learn is where you can get more tutorials, basic lessons, some special effects you can do with Pressy once you feel like you're ready for more. And Explore is where they post really popular Pressies that people are submitting um, for you to check out other finished examples of, of cool presses. So I hope you enjoy this and that you find some use for it in your projects. Have fun with it.